Our next story is called The Goose That Laid the Golden Eggs. Long ago, in a distant land, there lived a poor man and his wife. The man's name was Tom. And his wife was called Elena. They were very poor, but they had everything they needed. They had a goat to give them milk and a tabby cat to keep them company. They had a garden to grow vegetables and they had hens and geese to lay fresh eggs for breakfast and supper. So Tom and Elena were content. Every morning, Tom got up early and filled a basket with just laid eggs. Then, he set out from their cottage to sell the eggs at the local village market. One morning, as Tom was collecting the eggs, he found something strange. Hmm, what's this? One of the eggs was dark yellow and very very heavy. Tom was annoyed. He thought it had to be a trick. He raced outside, shouting for Elena. Look at this! Someone stole one of our eggs and left a stone in its place. But Elena looked closer. That's not a stone, Tom. To her astonishment, Tom was holding a solid gold egg. That day, Tom took all the eggs to the market as usual. Then, he headed for the goldsmith to show him the golden egg. The goldsmith couldn't believe his eyes when Tom held up the egg. That's remarkable, he cried. I'll buy it. And he gave Tom a bag of bulging with shiny gold coins. Tom gasped. <gasps> he had never seen so much money in his life. Tom went straight to the market and bought a beautiful silk dress for Elena. <clears throat> then he went home thinking about how happy she would be when he gave her the dress. As soon as he got home, he held out the dress proudly. But to his disappointment, Elena wasn't happy at all. In fact, she looked annoyed. Oh, Tom, it's far too good for me to wear, she snapped. And we need to fix the roof. Tom felt dreadful. Elena was right. He should have saved the money instead of rushing to spend it. It was too late now. He had spent every last coin on the dress. <sighs> he sighed. Then, the next morning, when Tom went to collect the eggs, he found another golden egg, exactly like the first one. Look, another one! And the morning after that, he found yet another. It's the little white goose, he said happily. She must be a magic goose. Every day, Tom sold a golden egg to the goldsmith. He used the money to buy splendid new clothes for himself and Elena. He built a bigger, grander house with a bigger and better garden. Then he hired servants to look after the animals and tend the fruit and vegetables for him. Tom and Elena were rich. As they became richer, 
they also became greedier. Very soon, one golden egg a day wasn't enough for them. I want a huge house. There must be a way of getting more golden eggs, said Tom one afternoon. If only that little white goose would lay faster, Elena murmured. I know, she cried out. Let's kill the goose. That way we can cut her open and get all the eggs at once. We'll be the richest people in the world. Squawk! So Eleanor grabbed the goose and Tom killed it. But when they opened up the goose, they found that there was no gold inside at all. What have we done? wailed Eleanor. No more gold. We'll be poor again. They had been too greedy, and now they had lost everything. Tom kept on collecting eggs every morning, but he never found another golden egg as long as he lived. The end.